Hey guys, welcome back to more Cyberpunk. So excited to get started in this one. A little hour count update. I've almost hit 60. Probably by the end of this episode, we will be on 60 hours that I have sunk into Cyberpunk and loving every minute. Let's get started. Today's, oh, a message from Judy, yoohoo. You know what rhymes with Judy? Booty. <laughs> You're so cute. Um, how do I answer that? You sound weird. Or oh, hey, you are okay. Ah, uh, just out with some friends. Friends. She's a bit drunk. <laughs> Definitely drunk. <laughs> Oh, I wish I could say more things. Well, maybe just a little bit. Picks or it didn't happen. You could at least send me some stills. Oh gosh. I sound like a creeper. <laughs> Fine, knock yourself out. It's a picture of a fish on the left, isn't it? Where's my pictures? Where's my pics? Judy, don't leave me hanging. Do we not get any pictures? Oh, come on. Maybe it takes a little while. She has to edit the picture, make it look nice. Maybe she'll write back soon. <laughs> um, okay, so today we are finally going to go back with Miss Panam. And no flirting. No flirting, guys. <laughs> we have someone, so I can at least keep my hands to myself now. This is so lovely. I love that. I love that. The rest will stay here in camp. Oh. I want patrols every half hour, reporting directly to me. Okay. Are we preparing for a visit from Biotechnica or a fourth corporate war? The Raffins could surprise us at any moment. You're not blowing this a little out of proportion. I don't want any more surprises. Besides, we look good, aware, prepared. Okay, well, something's going on. V, you're here. Yes, finally. What is she doing here? Oh. I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend to do it all behind my back? Is that it? Um... Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. Do you think I'm that stupid? I am starting to wonder. <laughs> Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance at what? Rotting up the job we came here to do? We're pissing Militech off, so they hammer us into the dirt right here. Shit. Pan Am, can you please tell him? I've already tried. Let it go, Mitch. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. What? What's I going can't on? It. There he goes, off to paint the grass green. Thought the Biotechnica contract had withered and died. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection? Um. Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us. And we'll say thank you and ask for more. Mm. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. <laughs> the Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Okay. Let me guess, whole thing's your idea? How did you know? So I wouldn't be quite so pissed if it weren't. <laughs> I believe V is right. True. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen mm. it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Yeah. Oh, Saul isn't that petty. He's simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time for the family. This basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes. A craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into mm. this biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, mm. so you do want to go behind Saul's back. Drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. <sighs> no 
remember? A while back. Told me to give you a solid kick in the pants if I saw you diving in the stupid pool again. <laughs> I do. Yet that was before our tandem raid on the Raffin camp. Hmm. I believe you lost your opportunity there. Nope. Different that. Rescue mission. Someone from the family. No. You're out to plain trick him. If you plan to lecture me, you can damn well go right now. <sighs> well, I don't want to lecture you. I want to help you, so I'm going to be careful with what I say next. Why Saul got his briefs in a bunch over this basilisk? He's afraid Militech will destroy us if we pick a fight with it. He thinks it's safer to stick with the corporations, like Biotechnica. <laughs> what a joke. And you guys would rather... We would rather go back to plying the trade we know best. Logistics. Meaning mm. smuggling. That's what I said. I can see Saul's point of view as well. Thought you and Solid agreed to bury your carbines. So did I. But it seems that's only true when somebody is trying to kill us. Exactly. Mm. You saved his life. You wanna fuck things up all over again now? I saved his life. Yet somehow he still ignores everything I say. So I do believe we have come full circle. <laughs> all right, well, what's the plan? We're gonna do it regardless. And you plan to grab the basilisk, how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd <laughs> help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. <laughs> yep, of course we're gonna do it. Ah, oh, Soul is not gonna be happy. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else. We didn't bother mm. asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Soul. Uh, Besides, yeah. only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Mm. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Mm -hmm. Plus, really? we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. <laughs> Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll when it can be used here, use mm. right here in America, right? <sighs> no choice. <laughs> I like Panam though. She's one of my favorite characters. But then I'd have to say they all are my favorite characters. I just love them all so much. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! <laughs> the convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice mm. job, Sunshine. Mm-hmm. Damn short, sweet, and pertinent. None of that sad sack bullshit Saul likes to tack on. <laughs> Mm. Pan Am's got a beef with Saul, I know, but you guys? A few years back, nobody would have given Corporal work a second thought. We want a good name. We just yeah. need good gear and good jobs. And Saul would see that if he pulled his head out of his caboose once in a while. <laughs> yeah, it's all too easy, convenient to arrange. The exact tech you need, combing your way, Almost served on a silver platter. Yes. yes, Saul also claimed it stinks the high heaven. Intel on the convoy, where'd you get it? Carol hacked the Militech comms channel. Is that enough for you? Well, of course we're gonna do it. I'm not gonna say I don't wanna get involved. Okay, I'm in. Hmm, okay, thanks. <laughs> First, we'll ride to the station. She kinda sounds surprised. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? I'll go with you guys. Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. All right. Good luck, guys. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. <laughs> you did not. Uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy, too? Screw <laughs> you. <laughs> oh, but thank are you. are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. Alright. Let's go, guys. 
We'll be fine. We'll be just fine. They've got me. <laughs> I'm a pro. How's it going, lady? Missed you. Hang on, what, why are we stopped? Pen Am? Pen Am. Maybe we're just looking. Okay. Time to look. Uh, what's happening? Let's go. There we go. <laughs> Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp. Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better oh. to make a good second impression on the Biotechnica suit. Your cell oh. faces wouldn't help much. <laughs> Indeed, they would not. <sighs> oh, I love this. Going in like a convoy. And the Raffins, what about them? Expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How is that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. Don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. Mm. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing yeah. it means nothing if you're alone. Yeah. Took adjustment on my part, too. Though, never was completely alone. Hmm. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would've liked him, actually. Jackie? I'll remember that. Mm. I've never forgotten him. I miss him. I still miss him. I wonder what he would think of everything that's happened since... We have arrived. Yes, we have indeed. We're here. Everyone's here. We're not alone. We have backup. I'm feeling quite good about Big this one. Bastard. If you like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. <laughs> Saul would be on board with that. <laughs> Are we ready? I reckon. Okay. The Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? What do you want me to do? Plan to move this thing how exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You yeah. and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay. okay, let's get to work. Easy. Good luck, guys. <laughs> oh, talk to the nomads. Can I? Please note the arrival of the next freight train is delayed. I just want to see if there's anyone that I can actually talk to. Well, hello there. Oh, there we go. You come to make yourself useful? Oh, is it this this lady that's talking? Read the open oh, line. Carol. You know you're in for a lovely thousand-page ride. Never I mean, seen old type like this. When Augustus now you came around out it. Porch, How'd you learn? From books? Just wait till you see what's inside the signal tower. <laughs> they use punch cards. Punch cards. Nope. Can Just you believe it? Sentence. What, what cards, cards now? An old data storage method. When the net collapsed, we were thrown back to the 20th century. What's it wow. even look like? They're cardboard cards with holes punched in them, as code in columns. Each hole position, punched or not, represents a unit of data. <laughs> I love this. How they get thrown back into the 20th century. That is so amazing. Honestly, prefer Pan Am to punch cards as a topic of conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess. You don't really know why you're here, do you? Well, she asked for help, but... Penham asked me for help. Mm-hmm. She came back to the fold, sweet-talked Mitch and the rest over to her side. But still, she calls mm. you. Interesting, isn't it? She did. 
I've got nothing else to say about that. Very interesting. She must, maybe she just appreciates um, V's help. What are you two doing? <laughs> I'm finding my inner peace before the storm. While Teddy is just being dead weight. <laughs> Love to join you. Respect your efforts. Self-respect breeds self-discipline. Hmm. Once you have both, you have real power. Drink and always breed deep thoughts. I just feel like people expect some motivational bullshit from me. <laughs> hmm. A goal, a love, and a dream are what breed a real man. Truer words, sister. My bike just arrived for no reason. Anything happens, Panem will pay. You two have fun. Have fun, now. kids. <laughs> okay. I think we're ready. It does say um, that it's still optional, but there's no one else that I can talk to unless I can talk to Panam as well. <gasps> nice. Need hands? Of course. But in your shoes, I would look for another way in first. Okay. Calm down. Oh. Oh, Even if we there pull they it are. Off, Saul will be pissed. Mm. I can see his face already. Remember when we first met? Almost had a pound in your pants at the thought of falling foul of Saul. <laughs> I don't recall leaving Pan Am high and dry, though. Now you're gonna stick it to him plain. Something change? Uh-huh. I realize Pan Am is right. How's it going over here? Fantastic. We have everything hooked up, and nothing works. Uh, it works, though not reliably. V, could you scan it? Because I am not open to the prospect of taking it all apart again. <laughs> I'll try. Capacitor's damaged. Third from the right. Hmm. Indeed. Hold on. Let me swap it out. Time to try it again. <laughs> hey, it works. Nice. Good job. Thanks, V. Mm. No worries. I like them. Okay. There's no other nomads I can talk to, but it still says optional there. I'm not really sure what else what I'm meant to do. in through that door. I opened this one, so we'll call it a tie. Be right there. <laughs> She's cute. Nice. Well, here we are. Just loot off. Okay, so where are oh, there she is. you my lady well done thanks boys <laughs> I'm really enjoying the ominous music in the background of this mission it just makes it seem I've always been fond of trains scary and the stations where so many tracks converge hmm Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel free. Like you could set off on a thousand journeys all at once. <laughs> Perhaps more simply, hopeful. I like that. I've never thought of the junctions that way. Okay, here we are. Wow. Carol! What are we Beautiful looking view. for? Punch cards. <laughs> cards punched with a bunch of holes. Let me help look. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Punch cards. Oh. Hmm. Not here. Oh. 
spider punch card. All right, well, where are, and where are they? Oh, the cabinet. Cardboard box. Nothing here. Nothing here. Okay, it must be here somewhere. V, look thoroughly, please. Hmm. I found it. Nice. Oh, well, well. <laughs> That's a punch card. Oh, hang on. What's this? Messages. New threat level. High alert. The net crash. Oh, wow. Oh, gosh. I don't know what that says. I cannot read that. It's so honestly fascinating to think of them having to think of no internet and it, it just uh, honestly I love it I love it I love this thought <laughs> to just go back hmm. leave my stuff on the desk before you go oh wow I, I love this because it is such like an old school kind of office here look i'm getting distracted let's go got something good job carol we have a card what now you have to put it in the reader all right put it in the reader activate the locomotive from the control panel Oh, nice. Here goes nothing. <laughs> oh, nice. Look at that. Little engine that could. Yes. <laughs> Little engine that could. That's so cute. Oh, Johnny, See, come back. I wanted to speak with you. Oh, here we go. Here we go. What do you want to talk about? I know this may sound foolish, because I asked you to help me. But... Why are you doing this? Because you asked me to help you. Because it's important to you. But is that all? I... Sorry, that sounded worse than I intended. Any more questions? No. <laughs> I know everything I need to, I believe. Perhaps I should send Rogue flowers to thank her for introducing us. Mm, Maybe. Not really your style, don't think. <laughs> I would add a card. Thank you for giving me a true friend, you manipulative <laughs> whore. That's my girl. <laughs> All Aww. right, let's rejoin the others. A true friend? I love that. I'm so happy, guys. I I adore her. Hang on, just wait a minute. I haven't looked around the top. There's probably nothing here except the most beautiful view. Wow, it's gorgeous. All right, let's go join the others. A message from Saul. V, do you know where Panam is? This is not good. This is not good. He's looking for her. When you see it, tell her I'm looking for her. Well, I don't really know Convoy. what to do about that. Eyes and ears on it. Yes, Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. Hmm. Should we tell her that soul messaged? I don't know. Why is he messaging me? Go away. Shirley stole my boyfriend? <laughs> I don't know what that means, but it's funny. Good. We could Sit still your ass down a minute, honey. Three. <laughs> Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. 
kitchen. It's beautiful. Can I sit? Do I get to sit? <gasps> you worried about song? Of course she is. We've quite some time left till dusk. Hmm. The car could use another once over. Oh, we just fast forwarded. I was gonna have a nice time. Oh, he's still going to town with his guitar. The stars have emerged. We've but a few hours till dawn. Hmm. It's beautiful. I love You're it. Acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, oh, save mm. your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ah, was it someone I know? New. No. Scorpion. He came home from the war, head full of new ideas and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Mm. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. <laughs> you said yourself you didn't need any. Mm. Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. To Scorpion. Jackie. Thank you. That's nice. Thanks, guys. Don't talk about the war much. What's there to say? They just packed you into a panzer down in Mexico and said full speed ahead, soldier. Wow. And it was weeks talking either to yourself or the onboard AI. Drinking iodide like water because your Geiger wouldn't shut up. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's terrible. I'm sprouting a rash on my ass just thinking about sitting in that boiling hot coffin. <laughs> uh huh. But y'all can't wait to pack your asses into the basilisk, huh? Mm. That's different. Completely different. You'll see once you're on board. <sighs> All right. Well, gonna try and get some sleep. She's so pretty. Okay, it'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Anything happens, wake me up. Unless you and I nap too. <laughs> Don't think so. I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. <laughs> That another area of your expertise? Got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Yeah. You do? Oh, dear. That means there's a major leak. <laughs> Good night, B. <laughs> I love that moment. That was a beautiful moment. Hmm. I really like this group. I feel so at home okay, with Panam. Is everyone ready? Oh gosh. Wake Let's up, wake ride, up, wake B. up. Oh gosh. I wouldn't be very good at getting up quickly, I, I tell you. Who's messaging me at a time like now? About a car? Dude. <laughs> All right, let's go, girl. Come on, guys. Get in. Buckle up. We're gonna ride.
Get her up to speed. Whoa. Amazing. I love it. <laughs> awesome. I love being in this convoy with my friends. They're going faster than we thought. I don't know if we can catch them. Uncouple one of the cars. It'll speed you up. Oh, yes. Hey, no coming and falling. Take out that couple. Okay, yes. Where? There. We're getting close. This is so. Oh, there. Hey, shoot out the damn coupler. Trying. Surround them as soon as they're cut off. Whoa. Do I shoot these things? Function? Oh, Hurry damn it. Up. And it was so easy, too. <laughs> damn. Oh, gosh. Where's my AR? Hang on, where's my AR? I didn't even have it selected because last night i dropped off a bunch of things in my, in my apartment sorry guys god you know what time for one of my favorite favorite things my blades Inside the vehicle. One second, though. <laughs> One second. Gotta get the good stuff. All right, let's go, guys. Okay, let's go. Ready to roll. Escort the trucks to the nomad camp. Come on, this is not going to be this easy. It cannot be this easy. We're gonna get ambushed again, I would imagine. Fuck! It worked! Of course it did! Just well, as I said it would! It's not this easy, guys. Please, honestly. How's it going there, V? Did you have fun? Sure did. <laughs> Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. <laughs> Real fun is just starting to pitch Teddy. Hang on. This guy's to the right, Militech. We don't care about them? Okay. Hang on. It says I can skip the right. Guys, that can't be that easy. There was, like, nothing to it. Oh, please. gonna make it with no drama what on earth is Saul going to say though when he sees us rocking up like this oh boy oh this is not gonna go well mm. hello no, thank you. I'll take care of this myself. Yeah? Oh my gosh. V, 
is not going to say a word. Panam, you're doing all the talking. <laughs> oh, here he comes. So it begins. Oh, no. I'm getting back. I'm moving. Out of the firing line. What's the meaning of this? Exactly what you see. The basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am, you can see them from miles away. You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too. Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine, go right ahead. In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Mm. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but hey, what do we do with it? Oh, I've got an idea. <laughs> What's your idea? Oh my gosh. Got quite a pair of lungs there. <laughs> Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was 10 years old. Oh, Seems wow. still be in fine working order. <laughs> Everything okay? Yes, of course. <laughs> Though the great train robbery bit of this was much more enjoyable. Yes, it was. You need me again. All you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you'd better expect that call. <laughs> Be waiting. <laughs> Take care. Wow. <laughs> Guys, that went so much easier than I thought it would. I gotta say, I'm a little bit... <laughs> I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed <laughs> with how easy it was. We have a new job, a queen of the highway. This one, leave the camp and wait a day until the basilisk is ready. Okay. Um, let's do that then. Let's do that. Okay, this is one of my vehicles I forget I I forget how I got it but I, I got it somehow alright let's leave the camp and wait a day alright let's just park here wait 24 hours and that should hopefully be enough time for the basilisk to be ready. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> hey, the basilisk, it's ready. Nice. Would you like to drive it? Yeah. Sure. Be there soon. Fuck me. It is awesome. <laughs> so I hear. We have a message from Mitch as well. Oh, what do you think? Ain't she just a beauty? Drop by the camp, stools don't do her justice, and maybe you cheer up, Panam. Alright, let's go back. <laughs> it does look very impressive. Look, maybe when Saul sees this, he'll change his mind. It's very difficult because Panam is going behind his back, doing things that he's told her not to do. What do you do when you have someone like that in your group? It's pretty difficult to keep order when stuff like that happens. Um, I haven't actually been to this Wanna particular Ripadox, and while point. I'm here, I like it. Just gonna have a look. I'm gonna get this one heal on kill because I have a um a blank space there. So that's that's gonna help actually. Fireproof coating grants immunity to burn. Yes, let's grab that. That is cool. 
We'll see if there's any new operating system. I have the Biotech Mark III with 10 base RAM. I would like more, but I haven't really found anyone that offers more yet, though, to be completely honest, I haven't been looking for a few episodes. So we might, might find someone as we go along, but I'm happy with those little upgrades. Whoa. Yeah, you turn it into a goddamn rocket ship. I know. What? Oh, a message from Judy. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a little embarrassed. How are you? Hmm. I feel like someone took a chainsaw to my brain. Anything I can do to help, I'm, though I'm tempted to say that line about the leash. <laughs> Start keeping my girl in line. Oh, try it. Go ahead and I'll, I don't know. I'm too tired to come up with a comeback. Talk to you later. Going to go back to bed. Before I forgot, I got something for you. Send it to your apartment. Sorry again. Good night. Oh. We're going to have to check that out. Maybe it's those selfies that she promised. This thing. Let me just take a look at this. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, you could have painted over the word Militech. You could have put on it Panem's Promise. That would have been a, a better thing to paint on the side. All ready to go? <laughs> hey, V. No, not yet. Carol still needs to check if Militech left any ice in the system. Oh, yes. Corpos haven't shown up in person to report the loss? No, I think we managed to keep them off our scent. Awesome, we left guys. We the trucks with the big Corpo logos down by the Raffin camp. Oh! Which was almost as much fun as leaving <laughs> a bag of flaming dog shit on their doorstep. Yes! Hey, Johnny. Fuck, made it look like he just came back from a Corpo war tour. <laughs> nice touch. Everything's fine. Clean as a whistle. And Saul, what about him? Nothing, for now. Mm. We're staying out of each other's hair. So yeah. he's not planning a family council? Of course he is. He just wants to keep me in the dark a while longer. Okay, right. Always wanted to take one of these suckers for a spin. Which is mm. exactly how all those naive gonks landed at the front. Didn't even need to be recruited. They just showed you the tech. Yeah. Come on, hop in. Everything is set. <laughs> okay. Let's do it then. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa. Let's fire her up. Hold on to your head. Oh, yeah. Damn. Damn it. Oh. Oh, no. Anybody get this thing up and running earlier? Maybe you Everything gotta... is dandy. Give me a moment. Okay, okay. Calm down. Jeez. Jeez, woman. Dirt. Hit oh, it. Yes. Okay, well, mm, okay. <laughs> Beautiful. Damn. It's not the latest model, but Mitch and Bob did what they could. It's incredible. Huh. What do you think? Now I get why they call them coffins. So, what do you think? Now I know why people call them coffins. You steer directly from your seat. All you have to do is jack in. What? No knobs, <gasps> buttons, blinky doodads? <laughs> no, none. The impulse runs directly to your cerebral cortex. Wow. In a sense, the basilisk becomes an extension of your body. It's like a mystical oneness. <laughs> Ever piloted anything like this? No. Why? Don't you trust me? <laughs> Can I still get out? <laughs> no. <laughs> then I trust you. Oh, I love these guys. Well, if it's so mystical and shit, why the co-pilot? Extra support? I'll tell you once we're a bit further from camp. We'll practice. Ooh. Ooh, what? Okay. You 
If you want full functionality in an engagement, you need a second person to handle sensory overload. One pilot steers, the other handles the gun. Wow. It's oddly pleasant. You'll see. Okay. So, am I doing the gun handling and you're doing the steering? Okay, this will do fine. Okay. A dry run first. I'll disconnect for now. Doesn't need two pilots? You won't be steering and firing. Are you ready? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> oh, Pan Am? Is this, uh, as designed? Neural synchronization doesn't happen at the snap of one's fingers. It'll be over soon. There. See? <laughs> okay. <sighs> Starting to understand what you meant. Warm up. Don't worry. I'm not gonna watch. Just put it through a few turns. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> Seems a boat. Mm -hmm. She'll fly right over any bumps. All types of terrain. Head towards that right. Yeah, let's let's test that out. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can find something bumpy. Didn't work. <laughs> I thought it was meant to fly over it. Something or other. Never mind. Alright, I can see you've grown bored. I've never <laughs> along the line of turbines. <laughs> I see a swerve right or left before the last of them. All right. All right, let's go. Sorry, I was just distracted by my cat there a little bit. Left. Very good. Keep her going. It's easy. It's just like, it's better than driving a lot of the cars right. in this game. <laughs> yes, that's the way to do it. Alright. Let's do some uh, shooting. What's on the menu? Don't get excited. The Basilisk is a cargo ship by design. But it should still be a good time. Mm. Alright. Press R2. Oh, I see. <laughs> This is honestly so easy. Dirt now. Okay, <laughs> practice is over. Easy. Good. Now I'm going to connect. It could feel strange. Meaning, basilisk pilots have to be fully synchronized. That means our nervous systems will be linked. Oh, okay. Okay. It's as if you booked a room with two beds, but got a double bed with a blanket wide enough for half. <laughs> know exactly what you mean. Hmm? Tell you later. <laughs> okay, let's try this. Guess I'll get to know you better than I'd planned. All right. Let me just say, it can be difficult at first. You'll experience feedback, sensory echoes as our systems overlap. Probably comes naturally in combat. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Starting now. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, oh, 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 oh,
Love it. Love it, love it. <laughs> they, they have to be very brave to even attempt Is everything to fight back us. It's time to talk. Whoa, whoa. Is it now, Saul? <laughs> Let's see what he says. Whew. Let's get out of this thing. That was fun. But again, like, so easy. Where's Panem? Oh, there she is. Whew. We're in trouble. All of us. Each on his or her own must think first and foremost of what's good for the family. Yes, I know. Panem was doing that. Come on, Salt. If I have to leave the clan, please just say so. Spare me another speech of yours at the very least. I'm afraid you'll have to sit through a few more. Because from this day forward, you will lead this family by my side. I what? Will, what? <laughs> I wish to do this properly, but fine. Have it your way. I was wrong. You were right. That's the truth. Oh. May it never happen again. But I, I, I made a mess of so many things. Y you said... I know. Oh. But I changed my mind. You risked everything for this family. Not even knowing whether you'd be welcome the next day. Okay. Okay. Well, I... Many things will have to change. <laughs> yes. And to start with, we need to leave this place. Quickly. We can't wait for Militech to find us. Of course. I will prepare our route. Oh. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. Terrible choice. I voted nay. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. I need to cool down, I think. Will you come with me? I love that, guys. I'm so happy for her. I'm so happy for her. Beautiful outcome. An interesting day. Uh oh. I feel as if I barely evaded a rapidly approaching train. Hmm. It's pretty close. We're not I don't know well. if I could have done it without you. <laughs> Come on. No, I'm serious. We all owe you. So you can count on the Alda Caldas. Always. I don't know. Beautiful. I'm so happy for her. Nobody's behind the bar. That I like. <laughs> I am quite worried about V right now, though. Beer? Lemonade? I'll have a lemonade. All right, with lemonade. Suit yourself. <laughs> to happy endings. Hmm. I think I'm gonna miss our escapades. Gonna miss our little escapades. Me too. On the other hand, though, who said this one was our last? <laughs> v, look around. Look at them. They could be your family. Panem, what do you. Stay in camp. <gasps> Join us. Oh, I so want to say yes. Oh. I can't say yes. It's really not that simple. You either want to or not. What's so complicated? That's the problem. What I want right now doesn't mean a thing. All right, V. I shouldn't drop bombs like that on you right now. I just thought, eh, forget about it. No, I would, I want to. I'll think it over. I promise. Oh, no.
B. Pan Am. I. V, relax. Everything is okay. How do you feel? What happened? I remember I. We were talking, then suddenly. You passed out. Completely. We took you with us. <gasps> they where? Camp? Somewhere new. Oh. We moved camp. Don't worry, we are safe here. For now. Oh, V. V, you have to tell me what is happening. Uh, the blood. You were out for hours. What's wrong? Pan Am, I... It's getting worse. Every single day. Okay, B, relax. Take it bit by bit. What is happening exactly? To tell you the whole truth, I'm afraid things won't be the same between us if I do. They cut the crap and tell me what's going on. I'm worried. You know, Johnny Silverhand? Yes, they sometimes play those oldies on the radio. Yeah. Why? That's just it. Johnny's alive. He's sitting in my head. He's what? Am, am I not? Is this some sort of strange metaphor? <sighs> Long story. Got a job, fucked it up. Now Silverhand's personality construct's sitting in my head. Bullshit. Yeah, well, he's not too happy about it either. Turns out we don't really mix. <gasps> And it's getting worse. You are not joking. Just trying to live with it. Survive, actually. It's certainly not doing wonders for your health. No, not at all. I gotta go. Feeling better. Really. Wait. <gasps> I will go with you. I thought I heard that voice. Hey, Mitch. Finally. We were worried. Took good care of your ride. She's over uh, there. Thank but you're not leaving us already, are you? Is everything okay? Not really. Much better now. Thanks for your help. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> See you made yourselves at home already. We do have some experience in this. <laughs> yeah. This is a good place. We have greater control over the area. The rest will settle in quickly. But tell us, how are you? You scared us. Not well. Thanks. I'll stick around for a bit. Make yourself at home. Remember, our offer still stands. If you I need help, that. the Alda Caldos are here for you. Then that, at least, we can agree on. <laughs> if you need anything, you know where to find us. Oh, thanks, guys. I love them. I honestly do feel yeah, yeah. so okay. wanted right. here. Well, I really need this. Want me to walk with you? Uh, no. I have cumin and chili. Uh, yeah. Uh huh. Yes. I really love these people. I know this area, back from the old roots. You're really safe here, though. For now, yes. Militech does not venture this far. And our vantage points really are much better. Hey, welcome back to the land of the living. About Thank time you. Sleeping Beauty decided to join us. Hey there. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I just love these people. I feel so wanted and at home here. But you know, everything here, it is temporary. All of it. Yeah. We will soon have to decide what comes next. Yes. <sighs> yes, that is right. Uh, and there she is. Wow. Jeez. Amazing. Our biz won't settle itself. V. Back to what we were saying. I will not even pretend to understand. 
I don't think it has even sunk in yet. But I am serious. How can I help? Nobody can help, though. Honestly. Not a clue. But there has to be something. Someone who can... Remember Hellman? He's the one who created the personality construct tech. That's why you wanted to get him. Yes. But it was a dead end. Now I have to figure out where to go next. You'll find a way. And once you do, let me know. I will help. <laughs> this whole family will help. Saul was not joking. You understand? Thanks, Pena. That made me so much more sad than it should have. I really enjoyed that mission. I feel so happy for Panem now that she is running this beside Soul. I'm just so happy. And I do feel incredibly wanted here. I am going to head to my apartment oh that's where they are now i'm going to head to my apartment because judy did say there was something waiting for us there so very curious about that i love this mission i really really enjoyed that one. Oh gosh did i not close my door <gasps> hey baby hi Is that left from Judy? That wasn't there before, so that must be what she's left. I can't really see anything in here, except all that stuff on the floor, because that wasn't there before. Actually, you know what, guys? If I kind of look at that in a weird, squinty way, it kind of looks like a love heart. But you have to look at it and squint your eyes so you're only seeing the white. I think she's left a love heart. <laughs> that is adorable. That's got to be what she's left. All right, there is something else I've been wanting to do. I think I'm going to do it in this episode. We have a little bit of time. What I want to do is somebody has mentioned in the comment that there's a roller coaster that you can go and ride in Pacifica. Don't know where that is. So I'm going to Google that and then we're going to ride the roller coaster. Okay. Google says that it's around here. So we'll fast travel here and make our way there. I'm excited. Looking forward to this. I love riding the roller coaster in GTA 5. So let's go and have some fun. Can I give you money? Yeah. Here. All yours. Why so good and you? God bless. Absolutely. I'd happily give you more than five bucks, too. Oh! There's the roller coaster! Oh, gosh. Hey, girl. Hey, now. What are you mad, though? Don't exaggerate. Don't fucking yell at me! Uh. Some of those people are a bit grumpy. <laughs> Alright. Let's do this. No way. This is going to be awesome. No idea what to do. Mega ride. Hang on, this thing is not working. It's broken. No one's even here. It's all broken down. <laughs> I don't think this is safe. At all. Nobody's even here. Oh, I can scan it. 
Safety locks active due to overdue maintenance. <laughs> Emergency power off. I can't do anything. Okay, well, there has to be something that we can do then. There has to be something we can do because someone has said I can ride the roller coaster. So. I'm going to keep looking around. Emergency power off. Out of order due to power failure. Well, can we turn this thing back on then? Hang on, what's that blue thing down there? Oh! Hello, repair. Ha <laughs> you amazing! Is it working yet? Oh, it doesn't scan. <gasps> I can do it. <laughs> awesome. Okay, I'm going to ride the roller coaster. <laughs> Beautiful. Bet you anything you're going to scream like a little girl. <laughs> you're coming along for the ride too. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't like roller coasters. I would absolutely be screaming. I bet you're gonna scream like a little girl too, Johnny. Whoa, this thing is massive and scary. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. I wouldn't be doing it. Oh no. Whoa. Johnny. Oh, I loved it. That was awesome. I don't know why I just feel like crying now. love that we can do that with our friend Johnny I am so weird but honestly it is just like we have a friend a message from Mitch I needed that take good care of scorpions things okay don't want them ending up in some seedy porn shop I love them. That was a beautiful moment, guys. I feel that Johnny has become so much to me. 
he has become a friend. He's become a friend to me and someone that I love seeing pop in. I never would have thought I would have felt that way about him. I guess I never would have thought of, of being happy to see him. Even though him being what? here is killing V. Oh, it's, I feel so conflicted because I adore Johnny. But yes, him being here, well, you, you know the rest. You know the rest. Wow, I loved that. I loved going on the roller coaster. I loved the mission with Pan Am. This episode was thoroughly enjoyable for me. I adore this game, okay? I adore this game. The characters are incredible. I love the location. I love the missions that we get to do. It all feels so real to me. The characters are so beautifully created, <sighs> acted and voiced to perfection. I love cyberpunk. I cannot fault it. Absolutely cannot fault it. All right, guys, going to finish this episode here. I'm going to go and record the next one straight away as I'm loving it. Cannot wait to see what we get up to in the next one. We're going to go and meet Takamura, our boy. I love him too. Looking forward to that one. I'll see you guys in that episode. Have a great day, guys. Bye.